Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So today I am coming at you with a bag review and also what's in my bag video. And uh, this bag that I'm going to review is something that I purchased last year in Tokyo, Japan when I was um, there holidaying. So I saw this bag at the mall and um, I was very excited because of the color, the design, the shape and also how versatile the bag is. So without further ado, let me show you the bag. So presenting my Miu Miu Vitello Shine shopping bag. So this baby has been with me for almost a year now and uh, it looks very shiny. Yeah, it has a shiny calf leather on the outside but not in the inside, okay? So maybe before I start on all those details, um, let me share with you the dimension of the bag first. So as you can see, this is not a squarish shape. It's actually a shorter length at the top and the, a longer length at the bottom. So for the top, it's actually 34 cm across and the bottom, it's actually 36.5 across. And as you can see, the width, it's quite you know, quite wide, it's actually 16 cm across and the height of the bag is actually 24 cm. So let me, you know, let uh, bring this bag closer to the camera so that, you know, you guys can have a look at the um, details of the bag. You can see the um, gold hardware, okay, which is over here and also the Miu Miu logo over here, it's also in gold hardware okay and this bag has a top handle which you can carry it this way or you can also choose to carry the bag using the detachable shoulder strap okay for myself i hardly detach the shoulder strap because um i find the shoulder strap very useful which um i will let you guys know later so this bag has a total of three large compartments when i say large you will see that you know, the bag has two zips over here. So opening each zip will reveal a lot of space, meaning that you can put your more valuable items over here. And same goes for the other zip compartment. All right, another you know, huge compartment over here. And if you have things that you just want to throw into the bag quickly, you have a center compartment which has even larger space. Okay, so that's the reason why I told you that this bag is very generous in the compartment. So three large compartments and in the middle, you will notice that there is another inner pocket. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. There's another inner pocket that has a zip. Okay, which you know, you can choose to put your valuables. And in front of the inner pocket is another slip pocket over here that has the um, gold logo of uh, Miu Miu, okay? So basically in total, three large compartments and uh, one medium ones and one small ones. For the middle compartment, you can actually close that, okay? Or you can just choose to leave it ajar. But um, if you do not like the idea of keeping your bags ajar most of the time, you can choose to close it. And uh, they actually have a button light snap closure over here. So you can just snap it and the bag will be snap closed. Alright, so it will be snap closed and uh, you have to remove the button if you want to open the middle compartment. That's it for the uh, dimensions and also all the pockets in this bag. So maybe let me share with you um, the pros and cons about getting this bag and um, so that you will have a better idea on uh, why um, I choose this bag and maybe it might also help you if you plan to buy a similar bag like this. So what are the pros about this bag? So the first thing is uh, when I first saw this bag, I really liked the color. So the color was one of the main factor for me when I wanted to purchase this bag because of the Oxford blood, um, Oxford red or Oxford blood, <laughs> it's the Oxford red color which is very deep red and uh, very sexy. So 
I'm a wig I have a weakness for red bags, so when I saw this bag is in deep red colour, I was um, really in love with it immediately. So that was one of the reasons. And uh, secondly, the material. So this was actually my second piece of Miu Miu. And uh, my first Miu Miu also has a similar material like this, which is a shiny material with a crumpled like texture like this, exactly the same. And it is actually very unique because um, not many bags out there have similar texture like this. For Miu Miu, it is like their trademark to have you know this kind of crumpled like um, material on their bags. So of course, you know, I want to own something that is very much um, their style. So I bought this because of that material, the shine and also the color. And next, I like the fact that I can hold my bag using the handle whereby I will put it in the crook of my arm or if the bag gets too heavy I will just basically use the shoulder strap put it on my shoulder or use it as a crossbody like this so I like that it's very versatile in that way and also this bag has many compartments when I say many compartments, I've showed you earlier, they have three large compartments and two smaller ones. So if I have more valuable items, I'll put them in the zip over here. And if I have maybe a book or an iPad that, you know, just, just, um, it's not as valuable as my cards or my credit cards, I could just throw it in the center compartment. So as you can see, this is really a huge bag. When I say huge bag means I can put many folders, many files, many A4 uh, documents inside the bag. So it's really very, very spacious. And inside, there are also two small additional pockets, as I showed you earlier. So the best part is one of the inner pocket actually has a zip. So if I am planning to bring something very, very valuable, I can put it inside this inner pocket here because um, the outer pocket might be too open and uh, you might worry people might just pick pocket by opening the zips but with this inner pocket and the zip I guess you will feel even more secure by putting you know all the valuable items in there and the zip is very easy to you know open and close it's not so tight I mean um, if you guys see my previous video, you will notice that my Celine um, mini lug, my crow luggage, the zip was a bit you know, tough to open and close. But for this, I don't have any issue. See, I can open close many times and uh, it's still very, very smooth. In general, I have many items. So big bags like this is definitely a bonus because I can throw, I mean, I can fill my bag with so many items and... Um, this bag is only half full, meaning that I can still store more items inside if I want to. But um, by doing so, it's gonna make the bag way heavier, which um, which is also okay because um, if it gets too heavy, then um, I just have to depend on my shoulder strap. So this shoulder strap is actually detachable from the bag. As you can see, to detach it, you can just have to press the buckle and uh, it's detached like that so um, I will usually keep the straps onto the bag because um, I do not know what I will put in, the, in my bag next time so if it gets too heavy then I will definitely have to depend on this so um, that's it about the uh, pros of getting the bag and uh, what about the um, negative part about the bag is um, this bag is fully leather, but as you know, uh, bags that are fully leather tend to be heavy. So this bag without any items inside can be quite heavy. So I know that I don't really like heavy bags, but you know, of course the appearance, the color, the everything overrides it. So my theory about don't like heavy bags is overrun again. So. In the end of the day, I just closed two eyes again and got the bag even though it's a bit heavy but well, so for those of you who couldn't stand heavy bags, you might not really like this. And uh, secondly, 
this bag doesn't have a um, a firm base meaning that you know if you put more things it might sag so it might it will not lose its shape you will still have this shape but it's just that depending on what items you put it will be pointy at the base oh yeah one more thing that i didn't um share to you is the bag's base well the bag has feet which is a good thing okay i like my bags with feet so this is a bonus for sure so yeah pardon me for forgetting that part so it has feet that's it about the negative part i don't see any more negative part about this bag because truly i like this bag and uh, maybe i did not show you this it actually comes with like a similar like a luggage tag over here and if you turn it to the back you will see the word new mew in gold it's actually very very pretty okay so um i don't have to purchase an additional um bag charm because this bag already has its own bag charm amazing right so this bag charm oh you can actually put your keys you know you can hang your keys on this bag charm but i don't think so anybody will want to do that but yeah there is a button over here which once you unbutton it will reveal that key ring the shoulder strap it is also adjustable if you guys can see um, depending on your height or you know um, depending on how you want to use your bag there are different holes on the shoulder strap so you can adjust it as as high or low as you want so it's very versatile as I was telling you earlier and um, yeah so I guess that's it I guess that's the pros and cons of uh, owning this bag so just for your info what do I put inside the different compartments like the zip compartment I actually place my cell phone okay my iPhone 6 plus well, iPhone 6 Plus to me is very valuable because it's not cheap and um, I seriously do not want to lose my phone so I dare not risk putting it in the middle compartment that doesn't have the zip so usually I will put it in the zipper compartment okay for my mobile phone and uh, oh surprisingly my fan which I bring it everywhere so this is not very valuable but I cannot remember why I put it in the zipper bag rather than the uh, middle compartment but anyway well I guess it's easier to just zip open and take the fan so I put it over there today I'm not sure why and now uh, that's it for such a big compartment over here I just put two items because why the other items are all thrown around the other compartments so let me open the other zip and show you what I put inside there. Oh, okay. In this case, I have my Louis Vuitton uh, key holder, which I put my travel pass. Okay. And uh, of course, I will not want to lose this because this is very new, very valuable to me now. And uh, I put it somewhere in the zip pocket. So yeah, I really don't want to lose this. And of course, another thing that is so important is my wallet. This is something that I cannot risk losing because it contains all important cards. So to me, this is also a very valuable item which I put it in the zipper pocket, okay, on the outside. And yeah, that's it. Another zip pocket with only just two items. So, well, majority of the items, as you know, are found in the middle pocket. So I believe some of you might be thinking, okay, middle pocket equals to not so important stuff. Well, you are partially right, partially right. Okay, let me share with you what's in the middle pocket now. A lot of stuff, as you can see. Okay, first thing first, I have my umbrella. So umbrella is not very important. And I don't mind losing the umbrella unless it's from Chanel, Burberry, Louis Vuitton. This is very cute and I do not want to lose it but it's still not as valuable as those that I mentioned earlier. Okay, and I have the pouch. Okay, this is the uh, famous pouch that you guys might have seen in my previous video. I put all my sweets, um, my, my pass, my earphone and stuff like that in this pouch. So 
this is not very valuable and I have a plastic bag okay I'm not sure where did this come from but I have this bag in the bag so I don't know I just found this so anyway this is definitely not valuable and I have my card case my pinky card case which um, someone actually asked me uh, what brand is this so this is actually not a branded um, card case it's uh, from a local uh, brand in my country and uh, what I like about this is because it has a lot of a lot of pockets for me to put all my shopping carts so I like this and uh, what made me buy is because of the color it's in pink and I love pink this is okay not very valuable too and my Laduri tissue pouch which I have shown you guys in my previous video tissues are very important okay I need them because I can get very messy when I eat or when the weather is hot I may need a tissue to wipe myself and of course, last but not least, is my Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch, which is actually very important to me. Of course, I do not want to lose this pouch, but um, it is still not as important as compared to, you know, my wallet, my cell phone and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's it. I have all my items in my bag and, oh yeah, I have a dollar which I am not sure where did that come from. So that's it. That's the uh, the end of what's in my bag. I've taken more than uh, seven, eight, nine items and, uh, and I still have more than half of the space left. So this is, um, I can't remember how much I bought this, but um, it's not very expensive as compared to the other brands like Chanel or Louis Vuitton. It's, a very amazing bag and I would definitely recommend anyone to buy this bag because um, I really like it and I did not regret it at all. So with that, um, that's the end of my bag review and what's in my bag video. So I hope you enjoy watching the video and um, I hope you also learn something about one of my favorite bags. So with that, have a nice evening and uh, take care. Bye.